Green Light Collectibles released their Hollywood series. I picked up two of the cars here. I picked up the Joe Dirt uh, 1969 Dodge Char Charger Daytona. So you can see this is Green Light Hollywood series. The packaging is very nice on this car. I also picked up Ken Ken's Corvette Stingray from Apollo 13. Also, very nice packaging. Now these are the same price point as the Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment cars, which I've discussed. So I'm wondering how they compare in quality. So first off, I'll compare the packaging. Now the Hot Wheels cards are cardboard with a blister over the top. So the cardboard is very, you know, you can bend it, it moves, very easy to bend and destroy. Whereas these, the green light ones, are completely encased in plastic. The whole thing is encased in plastic. And uh, I think that's better. You, the, the card will keep nicer and you don't have to worry about it bending or anything like that. You don't have to worry about collectors bending it. I did a video on that. Uh, just the other day, so be sure to check that one out. But um, yeah, overall, the packaging on the green light cards, I think I like it better. On the back of the Joe Dirt car, it just has a quote here from Joe Dirt. It says this thing's a Hemi. And on the back of the Apollo 13 car, there's a uh, picture of the actual car. And then there's a little bit of a story. I'll leave that there so you can pause and read it if you want to. I'm not going to read it for you. But the Hot Wheels cars, none of those have had anything on the back about the movie or the TV show or anything. It just has the, the copyright information there and the logos and that's it. They're all that way. So, I think, overall, Green Light has the better packaging. Um, now, I don't know about the cars, so I'm going to crack one of these open. Well, I'm going to crack them all open, actually. And take a look at the cars and compare them and see how they, they, they uh, compare. These Green Light cars are going to take a knife to get open. That's what I'm doing now. I'm cutting open the Joe Dirt car. I just picked up the Joe Dirt car and the Apollo 13 car because I like the movies and uh, the cars were memorable for the movies. There's the Joe Dirt out of the package and I'm going to cut open the Apollo 13. There are several of these available. I don't think I'll be picking up any more of them. I just saw these and liked them so I picked them up. And I wanted to compare them to the Hot Wheels cars, see how they compare. So there's the two Green Light Entertainment cars. Now I'm opening the Smoking the Bandit car. The Smoking the Bandit car is much easier to open. Don't need a knife for that one. All right, there's the three cars. Uh, first off, I noticed that these green light entertainment cars are very heavy. Very heavy cars. This thing is all metal, except for the interior, which is plastic. The wheels are, I believe the wheels, yes, the wheels are rubber, as you can see there. You got it to pop off the, the rim. So I wondered, I really wondered about these in the package, if, how good they were, because they look a little cheap, but upon getting it in my hands, this is a very nice car here. It's a very high quality. The wheels are rubber. The whole thing is metal, except for the interior, of course, and it's just, I'm very, very impressed with that car. Let's take a look at the Corvette. This one also has rear rubber tires. As you can see, pop right off the rim there. Now this one, it looks like the hood opens, but I'm not sure if it does. It does open a little bit, 
not too much it just pops up just a little bit right there not sure if it's supposed to do that or if not but it does pop up as you can see it's got a little deco there on the back it's pretty nice pretty sweet looking car small deco on the front as well this one is the, of the same quality as the other one it's all metal metal top metal base rubber tires very nice quality there as well now the Hot Wheels car also metal top metal base and rubber tires well they're real riders as you can see it pops off the rim there very nice car as well um, overall geez, I would overall I would say that uh, they're pretty comparable in quality really is what I would expect it's what I would have hoped for knowing that they're the same price These things retail for five dollars each so for five dollars they should be all metal with rubber, rubber tires at the very least and some extra decos in my opinion uh, as far as making them look like the cars in the movie uh, they did a nice job with the, the decorations on the Joe Dirt car to make it look old and worn out like the car was in the movie each side's a little different if I remember correctly that is accurate to the movie as well this Corvette's very nice shape as was the one in the movie and I've never seen Smokey and the Bandits so maybe you can help me out and let me know how accurate this one is alright That'll do it. Thanks for watching. Check out my website, diecastic.com.